Now the commentary done by Diggity, I've got the updated correct overlay graphics. Apologies for that for the previous match, and I know I'm not... I, I'm going to try to be good about that as best I can. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Locosito, a carry Terran Low, as the pink Terran bottom right-hand corner. We have Do Life as the Midnight Green. I'll call it Midnight Green Terran. This is going to be on Nemesis. Four-player Terran action. I feel like Vulture's... The three-factory Vulture build is what it's at, is where it's at on this map with the huge open middle path. And so Vulture Micro, Vulture versus Vulture Micro could be a big factor here. Although I don't feel like my predictions uh, for this group have been, as far as what people are going to do, have been uh, on point at all. But we will see. Um, both these guys strong contenders. I feel like this is another strong grouping. Oh, interesting. Some questions about the Gosu, the, the prof professional league. Zen actually ended up dropping out of the... Uh, professional league and he was ended up uh, replaced by Raz American Protoss who took second place in the uh, second chance tournament which is why he ended up filling the spot but no reply overall I don't know if they're on discord or we're chatting head to head or if uh, do life's just ignoring him to do the hard concentration nope looks like he's just being ignored keep that APM high he's got that focus Barracks constructed on the wall. Locosito still asking. Oftentimes when you see that, whenever you see like the from or whatever, you gotta wonder whether you're being uh, cheesed or not. And I'm wondering if that's gonna put do life on a uh, on alert. Refinery on both ends. It looks like it's uh, dead even build orders. Asking for the speculation, do life can send out that initial scout? And I think, yeah, after seeing that chatter, I would want to send out an initial scout as well. Rather than going for the, yeah, <laughs> rather than going for the back areas, making sure he's checking the high ground. So a little bit of mind games from Locosito there. He might have been genuinely interested. I like the politics being involved overall, as far as what's happening across BSL. Any initial marine? No, no initial marine construction. It looks like the barracks not being lifted off either, though. So there's an initial marine construction on Locosito's side of the map. The marine being held back to get that factory down, and actually that, I think that could be a significant bit because that SCV able to scoot in. So the marine not denying any any information. Also seeing, looks like two SCV. I think this still might be. I think that's two SCV on gas there. Third SCV being added which suggests that Locosito is going to open up multiple factories before expansion. A marine actually being constructed for do life here after the factory. Wondering if he's going to try to push this. Wants to get the blockade to deny the information. SCV went to the upper right-hand corner first. And want, so basically, I think these marines are to go ahead and try to like put Locosito in the dark. No Marine to the forward position. Second Marine blockading the gap. But not going to be in time to get that information halt. Barracks has been lifted off. And that little bit of... So that 100 minerals slowed down that second factory. So Locosito actually might end up with a factory advantage here. Although he built two Marines as well. Looks like he's dashing out to go ahead and keep that SCV out of scouting, and, uh, scouting range. But... Not able to stop him from seeing that factory and also still seeing the SCV on gas altogether. No second factory out for do life. It looks like he wants to go for command center first. Is going to need a bunker and some clutter here at the natural to support. There the bunkers being constructed. Locosito charging across the map to go ahead and engage. With the two factory follow, he is going to have superior reinforcements. So this could... We'll see if this is a quick one or not. Getting... Some damage, but free initial shots weakening that vulture. Plus, I don't know how much marine support is going to be a key factor here. Now, as far as the follow-up, marine. Oh, those marines need to get in. They're there. Okay, so in the bunker. But this is still a pretty wide open natural expansion. And Goliath follow-up with the armory for Locosito to try to. So he definitely wants to apply pressure. As far as continuation, he's starting to open up eggs along the rear. Let's see if Do Life is going to scout it. A little bit of an early SCV transfer. Starting to drop an engineering bay to the natural, but he is... Looks like he's not aware of the vulture threat sidling around towards the main. 
is getting that second factory online, but hasn't sent any vision up. Pays to know your maps. Hasn't sent any vision, so the eggs being cleared out to the south. And with the Goliath follow-up, stopping additional vision, yeah, this could be devastating. Could give Locosito the lead. Granted, he doesn't have that natural expansion as of yet. One Vulture finds the troops constructing in the rear, but with the split location, doesn't look like it's going to be sufficient. Plus high ground advantage now for Locosito with the Goliaths moving in as well. Siege Tank is out. The Barracks has landed, threatening some marine production as well. Do Life attacking away at that. Now Locosito looks like the initial attack has been halted. He's going to go ahead and grab a command center, but this is coming out much later. Second engineering bay being built nearby to create some additional clutter to deal with this attack trooping in the rear. Two siege tanks out. I think this is going to be a sufficient defense, particularly with SEVs pulling off the line. Great focus fire from Locosito taking out one of the siege tanks. Going to again withdraw to the high ground. He still has the two Marines threatening to attack at the natural, but he might have overwhelming attack forces now. Depends on micro. SCV doing a lot of damage along that edge. The Goliath for do life distracted along the opposite corner. The worker count actually even, but now siege tech has been upgraded. And that is going to be it for Locosito's attack. Command center is going to come online a little bit later. Canceling the engineering bay on the front, and actually that barracks looks like it's going to get wiped out as well. Do life with the overall worker league, and that's going to stop. That's going to halt any additional factory construction until that barracks is rebuilt. The barracks on the opposite side, which is burning, able to spot that command center coming online on the opposite corner. I'm wondering if actually the marines not able to blockade that SCV on the front as well. So do life in a good position now. Worker lead. Double machine shop, upgrade lead. Getting an engineering bay. Again. And able to spot... At, let's see if he just moves up a siege tank. A single siege tank over to this edge should be sufficient to, yeah, go ahead and halt any additional aggression. I think Locosito, though, wants to try to sneak an additional base to try to play economic catch-up. But do life... Staging a bit forward. I'm wondering if he's going to go for an assault of his own. Just leave a siege tank here along that lower gap. Because that was a big investment from Locosito that ended up very, very dry. I don't he, I don't even know how many SEVs he ended up wiping out. Overall, Academy. Being built. Eighth. Engineering being built opposite side. For Locosito as well. He has reconstructed that barracks so he can tack on additional troops if he wants. Siege tanks to the forward position. Now, remember, there is this is all even ground, so there's no high ground advantage on Nemesis. So Locosito able to create a forward barricade. I don't know where he snuck the resources to get the superior amount of siege tanks out at the front, but this is going to allow him to go ahead and grab that additional base. It looks like Dulife is going to grab an additional base himself at the 3 o'clock. But I got to say, I kind of like Locosito's positioning, at least thus far. And he did, I believe he started constructing this command center well before. Well, actually, it looks like it's just about dead even. So it could be three versus three. So where I was expecting a lot more vulture action early. It has turned into a siege tank goliath mid-game fest. And I, if do life tries to, it looks like he's going to go high end around. to stage up there. The other great advantage of holding this line is this still opens up the lower assimilator which means there still needs to be dedicated tr something to the south for potential pincer attack but this was completely missed by Locosito. this is a sizable attack force and if it finds that nine o'clock base might be able to wipe it out very very easily The thin siege tank count here at the front should be an indicator for Locosito. He's unseaging. You might want to pile drive into this. But let's see whether the supply count's actually even right this second. So staging a little bit forward. Going to use that barracks to spot and get easy, easy kill there. SCV's transferring to the 9 o'clock. 
But that attack army has been now spotted along the rear, trying to move up. Does do life siege or does he hold? Focus firing from the right. Looks like Locosito is going to be able to wipe that attack force out. So a long way traveled for a few SCVs. Locosito maintains the macro lead. And a bit, there's not much of a defense on the front for Dulife as well. And the barracks can spot it. He might be able to just walk through this and get more positioning out to Dulife's natural. Dulife scrambling to get his siege shanks in place. First shot to the north. So losing a lot of siege shanks here on off positioning and seeding. Oh man, losing more before they're even getting shots off. So Dulife faltering now in the mid game. Locosito with a sizable supply lead. All sorts of factories up and running, getting those vulture upgrades. Five factories overall, and honestly, with the skeleton crew that I see, I would not be shocked to see some vultures just sweep across. SCV's pulling to the front to provide some additional repair. No spotting. It looks like finally that engineering bay might sweep to provide some spotting for Dulife, but Locosito playing this fantastically. Three additional factories being added on for do life as well a little bit better saturation it looks like at that three o'clock but still down a massive amount of supply locked into his own base now locosito doing the same trick and gonna peel off a few attack forces drop some mines to cut off reinforcements take out those eggs and maybe assault that three o'clock Has a bit of a, just those three siege shanks to the south to provide support otherwise. A wraith sneaking out to provide both vision and maybe get some siege shanks there, but they're not in time to deal with the troops that have peeled into the three o'clock. Do life gonna bleed some SCVs here and have that three o'clock location shut down, which is not what he needed as he was already low on supply. And the wraith seen just Actually, the comsat just seeing the three siege tanks going to press forward. There are massive reinforcements, however, to sweep in and deal with what's left. So do life may be making a misstep here. Not much left as far as the defense army, and he's got maybe that lone wraith to counter a lot of these. Some two more siege tanks moving up, but mines along the way. Ooh, a big mine hit. That was huge. So now do life completely locked into his natural expansion he'll be lucky if his natural expansion just doesn't get straight up sieged here as there are plenty of siege shanks yeah do life kind of gg right there well played by locosito overall he'll move to the winner's bracket and we'll see do life i'm surprised actually i was expecting him to advance a little bit further we'll see him in the loser's bracket uh to take on nilsi classic matchup there if you guys enjoyed it please give a like and subscribe thank you for listening